from the beautiful island of Madeira. So I wasn't too sure whether I was going to video much this week. Well, we're here for like five days. But I know that everyone really liked my public transport in Malta video. So I thought I'd make a similar one about Madeira. So we're here in Madeira for five days, me and my mum. And we were thinking about renting a car. I was thinking about driving here, but then I kind of decided against it. I'm not a super confident driver with driving abroad and I decided that I didn't really want to drive somewhere without properly seeing what the roads are like myself. It looks fine and lots of people do rent a car here, but I know that not everyone wants to. So if you are wondering how to get around Madeira without renting a car, this video is for you. So today we're just exploring Finchow. We're gonna take a cable car, which I'm very excited for. So I will show you that and I'll just show you how we get around everywhere else. I think it's gonna be mainly walking today other than the cable car, but we might also get a couple of buses. So let's go. So on this day, all we did was take the cable car up to Monte and had a little look around Monte and then we got the cable car back down. It cost 18 euros for a turn trip on the cable car. If you don't want to come back down on the cable car, you can walk, although it would take quite a while, or you can take one of the toboggans back down. These are really popular and they're kind of what Monte is known for, but there is usually a queue and they are quite expensive. It costs €27.50 for a single person to ride on these toboggans. After that, we just had a little walk around Funchal, which was really nice and just explored the city on foot. It is later on, it's about 9.30 at night and I'm just about to go to bed because I'm so rock and roll. <laughs> had a whole glass of wine with dinner. Um, but I do want to get up and go for a run in the morning before our day of activities begins. So all we did today was get the cable car up and then didn't take the toboggan down, got the cable bar back down and then walked around. Funchal is a really walkable city. So definitely if you're based in the city and are planning to see attractions within the city, you don't need a car for that bit. You only potentially need a car for areas around the city like day trips and stuff. But the point of this video is to show you how you can get around without a car and that is what we'll be doing tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to test a guided tour of um, the west of Funchal and see what it's like, see whether it's sufficient to see the attractions, see whether we have it long enough in the attractions and see like whether it's a worthwhile alternative for a road trip. So I'm excited about that. Um, worth noting, I booked this trip on Get Your Guide. I will leave the link to it in the description. It will be an affiliate link. So if you do click on the link and make any booking through Get Your Guide, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you. So if you wanna say thank you for making this video, then please do consider using the link. But of course you do not have to. Um, and Get Your Guide is a really good platform. I use it every time I go abroad. And I think it was only about 30 euros for the day trip. Didn't include lunch, but I thought that was a really good price for a day tour. So let's uh, see what that is. I'm gonna go to bed now and maybe I'll pick up when I'm on my run tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully I'll make it. On this tour, we went to some of the most famous sites of Madeira, including the Cabo Giaro Skywalk, which is Europe's highest cliff skywalk. It's 589 meters high. We also went towards the Riviera Brava, and we saw the valleys of the Serra d'Agua. After this, we crossed, literally crossed over the mountain passes and there's no way you can get here without a tour or a car. You can't get a bus here or anything. So it was really cool to be able to get up this high. This is Madeira's highest plateau and there were some really nice views from there. And then we went to Porto Moniz, which is where they have the famous volcanic swimming pools. And we finished the tour by seeing Pool de Serra, which is one of the world's biggest natural reserves. It was a really good day and we really saw a lot. And I think it's definitely worth doing the tour in this regard because a lot of these places you wouldn't see without one. And the next morning I was getting up very bright and early to do a sunrise hike. And I booked another transport on Get Your Guide to get to the start and end point of this hike. All right, it is 5.30 a.m. Did not sleep very well last night, but um, 
let's go have some breakfast and then I will go and find this shuttle and review it all for you. <laughs> this was one of the best hikes I've ever done. It was absolutely mesmerizing and the transport worked really, really well. So I was picked up at a certain place. It was a five minute walk from my Airbnb by a minivan and they dropped us off at the start of the hike and then the hike was all done independently. We had five hours and then we met back at the meeting place at the end of the hike. Now, even if we'd had a car, this would have been much more difficult because the ending, end and the start are at completely different places. So this is a really good way to do this hike, even if you have a car. Back in Funchal and it's time to suss out the buses. So we wanted to take a bus up to the Funchal Botanic Gardens. The Google Maps worked really, really well, actually. So I used that to find out the bus times and then got to the station and I confirmed that that was the right buses. So the easiest way to use the buses in Madeira is to just pay cash. It's €1.95 for um, a journey anywhere in the city. So that does make it a lot easier. Although if you're doing a lot of journeys, it is cheaper to use a gyro card you can buy these at many of the newspaper shops in the city center and the more tickets you buy the cheaper that they are so this will save you some money and it's also more convenient than needing to have cash all the time although you do usually need to pay for the gyro card in cash anyway we got a bus up to the botanical gardens and look how beautiful they are and how nice the views are we then took a bus back down to Finchow and we went to Blandy's Wine Lodge, which is where you can try the Madeira Fortified Wine, which was not my favourite drink, but I can see why some people like it. We then went to Reed's for a cocktail. This is a really high-end hotel in Madeira. Um, couldn't afford to stay there or eat there, but we went for just one, one drink, which was nice. We got a bus here. But the, um, the buses were very, very full on the way. And on the way back, we decided to treat ourselves to a Bolt taxi. So we just used the app and ordered a Bolt. Good morning, good morning. It is our last day in Madeira. And today we are off to see some of the best sites and towns and places east of the capital. We're actually going back to Pico de Arreo, which is where I watched the sunrise yesterday, but we're also doing a few other things, going to a few other towns and villages and stuff, so it should be a fun day. This is the only day where we could have done things a bit differently. We are doing a tour to go to all of the best sites, another one with the same company that we booked yesterday. All of the tour information will be in that description box but we could have done this by bus, I think. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research onto the bus routes just to add a little bit more to this video. But um, my experience from the yesterday, they were really easy. It was one euro 95 for a single journey and we were only going short distances, but I, you know, that can work out to be very good value for money if you're going a longer way. And yeah, it was good. It was very busy during rush hour, but other than that, it was absolutely fine. But we are doing the tour today, so I'll, I'll show you what it's like, show you how you get around with it. It was only £30 again per person, which isn't bad. But I think, obviously, if you would exclusively get in the buses, it would probably be cheaper. So, I need to make some breakfast and then I need to head off. So, let's see what this tour is like today. So, I really enjoyed this tour. It was another full day tour. We saw the start of some of the Levada walks and just a bit more of the nature and then we went to Santana and saw their famous houses. So I know not every traveller likes group tours so if you don't want to do a group tour but you want to see some of the sites in Madeira's east you can do so by taking a bus from Funchal to Santana so that's quite easy to do and you can also take a bus from Funchal to Vereda da Ponta de São Lourenço, which is the, the peninsula that sticks out from Madeira and has really, really nice cliff views. And that is a wrap. We are leaving Madeira tomorrow. So yeah, I think we've tried some quite good modes of transport while we've been here. The only thing I would have done slightly differently is maybe taken a couple of buses to the east rather than done a tour. But the tour was only £30, so it was a quite a good alternative. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!